Hey guys, Anthony here for D News with my friend Tara, video game journalist, Hi. mathematician. Pie enthusiast. Pie enthusiast, because it's Pie Day. It's it's March 14th, so we're at Mission Pie. Uh, celebrate. It's, you're not supposed to be celebrating pie, you're supposed to be celebrating the number pie, but we figure two for one. I celebrate everything by eating pie, so it just sort of makes sense. So Tara, like, explain first of all, to anybody who doesn't know, so pi, 3.14, what is the significance here? What does pi define? The actual number pi is really nothing special. It's an irrational number, so it's infinite. There's, you know, an infinite number of digits and it's seemingly random, which is not all that uncommon because most numbers are irrational. The significance of pi comes in the fact that it's a constant that's used in almost every area of science. It's used in math, it's used in physics, it's used in astronomy, and it explains a lot of the things about the way our world works that we don't necessarily understand. So on a basic level, Pi describes the ratio between the circumference of a circle and the diameter, right? Yeah. Okay. So then how does it get this larger significance of explaining the world around us? Uh, that's a good question. <laughs> Nobody really knows what the actual significance of it is. There's no way to calculate a circle without knowing pi. So pi is endless. How long have we been trying to calculate pi? I think the first sort of proof that somebody had a concept of what it meant were the Babylonians. People have also said that the ancient Egyptians used pi in their construction of the pyramids. That's still sort of up in the air. Um, okay. There are definitely some coincidences there. You take the length of one of the sides of the pyramids mm -hmm. and you double that. And if you divide that by the height, you get pi. People have sort of given it like spiritual or religious implications. I don't know, I guess it's sort of open to interpretation, but people do love finding patterns in numbers. They do, like you hear like Albert Einstein's birthday is, is March 14th, yeah. so pi. And then you hear uh, 360 degrees in a circle, and if you go 359 digits into pi, the next digits are 360. Yeah, that's, that's sort of a stretch, I think. Yeah. But there are definitely coincidences. The way computers calculate it now is basically just by doing a series of fractions. And actually, the first person who rigorously approximated the value of it was Archimedes, and he used the, the polygon method, which is basically taking a circle, putting a hexagon inside that circle, so all of the points touch the circle, and putting another one outside, so the circle lies tangential to all of the okay. hexagon sides. What you have when you do that is an upper bound and a lower bound for what pi is, and if you do that, adding one side to the polygon every time, you basically get a close enough approximation okay. Yeah, that that window closes and it eventually you get, becomes a circle. Yeah, and so Archimedes did that uh, by using a 96-sided polygon. So imagine all the calculation that went into that. So how many digits of pi do we know? I think our latest calculations have uh, figured it out to about 10 trillion digits. They, they call it normal, which means that it, it is considered to be a random sequence of numbers. Mm -hmm. People don't just attach significance to the number, they attach a lot of significance to memorizing pi for yeah. some reason. I know 30 digits, but actually the I think the Guinness World Record right now is a guy from China who, well, he said he memorized 100,000 digits of pi, and apparently he only got to 67,000 before he screwed up, which I guess they stop you, because they're like, ugh, this guy's a fake. Yeah. When it's totally random like that, is there a trick to memorizing it? There or is, is it a just... trick. I don't know it. I wish I did. <laughs> That's probably why I only know 30 digits. I've basically memorized four phone numbers. And now Sorry. I'm going to keep Tara from eating her pie for another uh, 30 seconds while she recites all of the digits of pie that she knows from memory. <laughs> all right. Now I'm going to screw this up. I know it. 3.141592653589 3.141592653589 Subscribe. 4338 For more D-News. It's no 67,000, <laughs> but it's close. Math.